sunshines welcome or welcome back to another video my name is shine if you love all things organic modern fashion and a little bit of lifestyle please consider subscribing at the end of today's video i would love to have you so in today's video i want to give you guys a haul and a little bit of update on the few projects that i share with you that my last video so if that's something that you're interested in make sure you continue to keep watching so good hey you guys thank you guys so much for tuning in on today's video like i said in my intro i would like to give you guys a little bit of an update on the few projects that i shared with you guys in my last um video it's not much because i haven't got that far but i do want to share with you guys two of the items so far and a little bit of a haul just some random pieces that i picked up yeah, I know how I get down, just in case you may or may not be in the market for any of these things. And a lot of them are just so cute. So, I hope you guys can get your hands on a few of these items. So, first thing I want to share with you is, y'all remember that stool that I thrifted um, about two weeks ago? Well, Chip and I attempted to do a little makeover on it. cute but it's still not the vision that i had so i'm gonna work on it a little bit more but i'm gonna show you what i've done so far so here's the stool you remember the top of it was purple and i kept the legs natural now the vision that i had i probably would try to insert a picture of my inspiration It was all black. The top was black. The legs were black and everything. And that that stool was running between five hundred to a thousand dollars. And you know we ain't got that kind of money over here to be spending on those stools. So we gonna DIY it. I like it, like I said, but it's just still giving basic to me, and I want expensive, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, Chip had sent the top down and gave it two coats of high gloss paint i don't know how i'm feeling about the high gloss it's going in my guest bathroom and it's going for um a most sultry feminine sexy moody vibe in my guest bathroom i know that might sound crazy because you know when you have guests you want them to be in a space where it's like relaxing and bright but when you do all that they stay longer than they should so but yeah no i'm just flowing with the vibes throughout my house um, I'm trying to get more moody in the living room. You know what I got going on in the dining room. That's absolutely my favorite place in the whole apartment here. It's one of you guys' favorite. Um, so, yeah, I'm just trying to flow with the consistency of the vibes throughout the home. And that picture that I have in my guest bathroom set the tone. So, that's what made me want to just continue the vibe of that moody, sexy feeling all throughout. So, yeah. I'm going to put this in the guest bathroom, play with it, see how I'm liking it. My cabinet is this color, so it's going to tie in really, really well. But still, I wanted that expensive look, and I think that this color tone of wood is giving, in my opinion, a little basic. I don't know, but I'm going to play with it. I am getting ready to do a bathroom refresh, so you will see her again really soon. But I just wanted to share it with you. Um, what I got done so far. I hope you can see it in the frame. It's a really, really cute stool that I could put some cute little knickknacks beside the tub when guests come over, you know, like a towel, you know, extra bar soap or a loofah. You know, you get the vibes, y'all. So this next item, I don't think I shared it with you, 
in my video. I believe I shared it on Instagram because I was so excited about it. Okay, a little backstory. Okay, so when I went thrifting initially two Sundays ago, I think that was, I left this item behind. And it was because I didn't have time to see if it worked. And I was having a lot of complications that day. I was very fatigued. And y'all, y'all got the story. And um Chip so happened to be on that side of town. And I asked him to stop in there to see if it was still there. I'm I'm smiling already because it's just the cutest thing ever. And when he went, he FaceTimed me. He was like, oh, bae, it's gone. I'm like, oh, I figured it's been over a week. I knew someone was going to get it. Lo and behold, when he came home, I was in the back laying down resting. And he was getting ready to go to work. And, um... I walked him to the door and saying our goodbyes and everything. He kept saying, turn around. Y'all, the item was sitting over on the corner. Matter of fact, over here on this table, he surprised me with the item. And he told me it was gone. Let me stop talking and share with you guys what it is. So I shared this baby all on Instagram, you guys. It is a lamb. Now, when I first got this, it did not look like this. If you follow me on Instagram, my little to child, you saw what it looked like. It wasn't bad at all. It just, whoever had it prior, had glued jute cording on each rivet. And it made it just look so country. So I took hours of cleaning it up, removing that jute with nail polish remover. It was a hot mess. Okay, y'all, excuse the stuff in the background, but um, when... Um, when we purchased the lamp, I noticed in store that it had this jute cord on it. But I figured, of course, it'll just come off. I wouldn't think anyone would adhere it to the lamp. However, they did. So what I'm doing right now is taking some basic Dollar Tree polish remover. Trying to get that glue off, whatever type of glue that they used. At first, I tried alcohol. It took some off, but it wasn't removing as good. I'm going to go back over it with a goo gone. I don't have any right now, um, but I will be going back over it with some of that just to clear it up. But I just still think this is an amazing find for only $15.49. I am going to have to buy a harp and a shade, but no big deal. I already sourced some from at home that I really like. I'm just waiting to go in store to see it in person. I don't know why would they have put that ugly jute on this beautiful lamp. When I first saw it, I left it behind. That was initially my first, um, that first shopping trip that I showed you the other items from. And I left it behind because I was so tired and fatigued. I just didn't want to go through the house of trying to make sure that it was working and all that stuff. So... I sent Chip back to go get it like days later. And it was still there. But y'all, he played a trick on me. He told me that the lamp was gone. And when I came from the back room that afternoon, the lamp was sitting on top of the table I thrifted. So that was really sweet of him. So yeah, as you guys can tell, after I removed the jute, how much glue was on here, so that's what I'm doing. I think I'm doing pretty good, but I'm gonna go over it a couple more times so we can get this baby looking pretty much brand new. Okay, I hope you guys can see, but I've got majority of this side off. I'm going to work my way around that side. It's clear, so y'all should be able to see it. I wanted it to kind of look like that. And then, like I said, I'll go back over with some goo going. So, yeah, it's looking really, really good. I'm so excited for this piece. $15 lamp. Well, after I put some more supplies with it, the harp, which should be about $5 or less. Um... The lampshade. So, yeah. 
So I paid $15.49 for this lamp. It does have a chrome bottom and all this cylinder, if that's what it is, I guess you could say, um, it's all clear glass, so modern. Um, but I'm going to moody it up, if that's a word. I'm going to jazz it up. It didn't come with a harp. That's the little sticky thing, the little, look like a wishbone that holds the lampshade. So I have to invest in a harp, and I need to also invest in a lampshade. I am going with a black lampshade because this lamp is going to be housed over here in the lounge. I still have yet to get my curve. I haven't done anything in this area yet. I'm still trying to get my energy and my mojo up and i'm not trying to overdo it so that's why projects is taking me a lot longer than i would want because i'm kind of low-key an impatient person when i want something done i want it done now but i still need to listen to my body i do not want to go back to the hospital so enough of that so i'm going to invest in a heart and then a black lampshade i think that's going to be really really cute really really sexy and moody over here y'all know i thrifted that other table i'm gonna do a little you know, little, little little DIY on that too. Just see how I'm feeling it. Now, these items may too be may be too big for the space, but I don't know unless I try. I'm I'm just excited for the process. So yeah, um, I think it was a great find. And I also found something similar online. This lamp was originally like a hundred dollars. I only paid fifteen forty nine for it. Plus, I'm about to buy the heart, the lamp shade. So probably all together, I'm gonna probably spend around, let's just hypothetically say $30. That still is a great deal. I love going to the thrift shops, looking for those practical, functional items. They go into those big box stores because I don't like my home to look like everyone else. I don't want everything that I have, somebody else have, which I know nine times out of 10, somebody of course is going to have a piece or two of what I have, but everything, no. I want, when you come into my space, be like, oh, that's cool, that's different, that's so nice and elevated, versus, oh, I seen such and such had that. Oh, I seen that on Instagram. You you get what I'm saying? So I love going to the thrift stores, finding cute and different and elevated pieces just make my house feel very expensive, like it's a feeling, like I travel the world. You know what I'm saying? Like. This may be a basic lamp, but when I get through with it, you may have think that I bought it somewhere in maybe Italy or somewhere. You know what I'm saying? I may be exaggerating just a little bit, but I know y'all get what I'm saying. So let me put her down before I drop her, and I will be devastated. Hold on. Coffee break. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Speaking of coffee, y'all know I got my babe cave and everything, you know. That's my cute and girly little space over there. But y'all, I am really starting to feel more new. I've always been low-key of a neutral girl. Like, I've always loved grays and black. Always. All my decor and my whole aesthetic, no matter how far back, always implemented form of grays and blacks no matter what i think i am going more neutral you guys i have been binge watching antique videos thrifting videos and i'm just stuck i've been watching um uh, reels on instagram of more um antique -ish, um related videos and i'm not an antique vintage person per se i appreciate it I do love certain pieces, like I love the warmness of certain pieces and the texture of certain pieces, but to have my home completely just antique out, no. I'm going to always be a modern girl. I love the sleekness design of modern, but I also love the warmness and the texture of organic pieces. And I think to do that, I'm going to add some vintage pieces and antique pieces just to warm my space up a little bit because when you're dealing with modern it can get very cold and you know just you know stiff looking and i want some moving through the home and i think so far i cannot wait to get a little bit more projects out the way to share with you guys uh, a home tour it's not where i want to be 
I'll be here three years. And it just takes time. Anything, anytime you're trying to do it right, it's going to take time. Like I said previous, I don't want my home to be like no one else, no matter if I am in an apartment. I want it to feel like me. I want it to represent my husband and I. And I want it to have a feeling. I want it to have a feeling of warmth. I want it to have a feeling of luxury. Even though I don't have, as of yet, the money in the bank, I want you to walk into my space and be like, Oh, she got some money, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, I have been gravitated to antiques more, vintage pieces more. And I'm just really excited for this next journey of my home decor phase because I've always been into home decor. But I just think over the past, I would say, maybe five to six years, I've really, really, really been into it. And now I'm really, really into it. Like, I sleep and think about it. I eat and think about it. I drink and think about it. I walk and think about it. I am so infatuated with home decor, you guys. And I'm so excited to share this journey with you guys. So I hope y'all continue to stick around. I know a lot of you guys been here for, you know, the pink and girly, which I'm still gonna do, you know. Um, but I just got the I'm I cannot stay in a box. I cannot stay in a box. I have to, I have to branch out and just do content that represents me and i love home decor it is a part of me so i hope y'all excited for that if you enter um like vintage organic leave me a comment down below give me some tips on what you know what you know i should find what 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 are pieces that i can get to you know, help warm up my spaces like i'm not it's a lot of things i won't do but i'm not gonna say i will never do i'm saying i'm just saying i'm not gravitated to do it if you will um like i've seen a lot of ladies were putting cutting boards in their living room on their console i'm not knocking you i just can't see that like put olive tree plants in the bathroom i don't know i can't see that i can't see that um but yeah those are just extra um decor that people do to, to fill in spaces however I need pieces to warm up my spaces. That's why I've been doing a lot of DIYs with the vessels and the bases to make it look aged and, you know, traveled and it has a story behind it. So, yeah, I'm excited. I know I keep rambling about it because I'm truly, truly am excited about what I'm going to find. You know, I have a whole little list on my phone about things that I want to look for in the thrift store. And I've always been a thrifty girl. All the way back as a child, my cousin and I, we would always get in our creative space and we would repurpose things and so forth. And my grandmother and my mother would go to the thrift to put outfits and stuff together for their Sunday best. And you would think they went to J.C. Penney's, Bloomingdale's, Dillard's, but they got it from the thrift store. So I've always been in my thrifty and my creative bag. And nobody would never know because on my own, I would have my you know, my real Louis bag. I would mix the, the old with the new. So I never stared away um, from thrifting. Um, and then if you guys been following me for a while, y'all know I had a secondhand um, store back in Alabama that did very well, very well. We traveled the world with some of the pieces that I put together on these models. So like I said, I've always had that niche for repurposing and giving old things new life. But I'm really, really excited for this new decor phase. My husband and I have flipped plenty of furniture pieces and we just sleeping on our talent. And I told him once before, Chip, we need to get back in our creative space and do what we're good at. You know, we flipped a couple of pieces of furniture and made some money off of it. Now, do we have all the time right now? No, with him working a full-time job and everything that's going on with me with, you know, a lot of medical um, appointments and stuff, I don't know. We will see. Let's have a finger crossed that I can explore and do a little bit more of the things that brings me joy. So, enough of that. Let's go ahead and get into this haul. Okay, the first thing I want to show you, because it's sitting right here in front of me, and I was going to drink my coffee out of it this morning, but it wasn't big enough. And I did not pay attention to that when I asked my girl and the kids to pick these items for me, but it's super, super cute, and I had to have it. 
If y'all been watching a lot of the reels on Instagram with the Target girls showing the Target dollar spot, I know y'all gagging because I'm definitely am. I literally want everything that Target dollar spot is bringing out because they're bringing some really, really cute pieces. So when I saw this item right here, I knew I had to have it. Y'all, look at this. So what it is is a double stack set of glass mug. And this is the detail on it that got me. It's just some clear glass little bead. It's very cute, very dainty, just very aesthetically crazy. And this was only $5 for a set of two. Now, as you can see, it's not really deep. You can probably get a cute little espresso shot in there or just a little bit of coffee. I don't supposed to be consuming a lot of coffee, so this probably would be ideal for me. However, your girl still love a big old mug of Joe. And I need to be consuming coffee probably in this side. Anywho, I am trying to tone down. That's what I was meant to tell you guys. I have my pink girly mugs in my babe cave, but I am trying to keep my aesthetic in the kitchen more neutral, a little bit more toned down. So I was like, should I, you know, declutter and purge some of those red mugs, green mugs and stuff? You know, Chip got his mugs. Is Avenger because he's an Avenger guy. Um, but for my mugs, I think I want to go ahead and just purge those items, send them to the thrift store, let someone else find them, a new home for them, and just get me some more tuned down um, mugs, some clear mugs. Some, uh, I love glass, you guys. Y'all know anything about me. I love glass. I love white dishes. So I think I'm going to tone it down in the kitchen. For just days, I don't want to drink out of my girly, girly mug. Because to me, they're vibes. They're feelings. When I'm feeling very superly moody, mod, I just don't know. I come to the kitchen. I may want to sip my coffee out of something like this. When I'm feeling extra girly and I'm just in my vibe of being really, really feminine, I go to my bay cave and give me a cute little Hello Kitty mug. I don't know. They're just vibes. And I love it. I'm here for it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and invest in just some neutral tone mugs i'm not gonna spend a lot of money because i already invested a lot of money in a lot of my glassware um in my bag k shout out to my girl tasha she has helped me grow my hello kitty mug collection so shout out to her my collection is stupid big <laughs> and i still want more i have a factuation with cups and you will see why in this next item go get this y'all this is too cute So this next item came from five below, you guys. So when me and my girl Nikia first learned of this item, we was like, we gonna get it, we gotta have it. Got it. Y'all, I was in so much pain that morning when I got out that bed to go get this item. And I'm pretty sure y'all know what it is. I did share it on my Pink Madame page because of course it is pink. And this is gonna be the some, something that's gonna be in the bay okay? Y'all. I got another doggone glass mug. <laughs> so the perimeter of the mug is glass, fluted to be exact, which I absolutely love. Y'all know I love anything fluted, real, but the straw is plastic. And I kind of like that. I kind of do, but then I don't. When I first learned that it was plastic, I'm like, mm. but you know what? I'm here for it. You know, it just less straw to be broken so this was from five below like i said and i believe it was actually not five dollars because five and below was not five dollars no more it's more so five fifty five so it was yep five fifty five five below y'all gotta do better y'all gotta do better you and dollar tree y'all got to do better with these price points so yeah this was 555 which is still pretty good you used to find something like this maybe of a marshall tj maxx you're not paying five dollars i could see more so like 799 999 anyway the straw is plastic you guys and i know it's probably coming up like a light soft purple but it's actually like a pink i put it up to the window to see how it looks in the light but it's actually light pink they did have an iridescent one and i was indecisive about that one but it just had too many hues of like yellow and purple and blue in it so i was like let me just stick to what i love they also had a, like a darker blue and i want to say 
a uh, purple, actual purple. But for five fifty five, you cannot go wrong. And you can drink your iced coffee in here and be really, really super cute. Like, look, this is cute. I could have had my matter of fact when I do my iced coffee this evening, cause y'all, I have to have at least two cups of coffee a day. I do. I look. Mind your business, mind your business. But this is gonna be real cute with my cute little aesthetic today. I ain't going nowhere. I just want to be cute. I want to be girly. This is the dress that I hauled a couple of weeks ago from Walmart. I was on clearance for $3. And still giving a little grandma, you know, even though I am a grandmother, but I'm a grandmama, you know. But I just thought it was cute. You know, it's getting ready to be spring and warm up. I just, I just, I just feel girly. So, yeah, 555, go get this. Now, out of the two glasswares, I would definitely say, go grab this. Go grab this. All right, let's keep it moving. Let me move this out the way because I don't want nothing to get broken. So we got that out the way, this out the way. Okay. So next we got some items from Dollar Tree. Oh, you guys. Dollar Tree. Y'all always know that Dollar Tree is a hit and miss with certain things. And, you know, if you father, follow um, that girl, T-I-A-T-L-A. I'm sorry, Tasha. Tasha on Instagram, you know, she always give you the biz and the tea about what's new in Dollar Tree. But she didn't share this. I don't even know if she's aware of it. But I'm going to share with you if you're into, like, dishware and all that good stuff i hope you guys can get your hands on it i only have two but i'm only share with you guys one but i found this at dollar tree you guys this is like a charcoal gray low profile salsa plate if you will i don't know but i can see you eating something maybe like a side salad in this Maybe some pasta, a little pasta salad. I don't know. If you're into food aesthetics I, like I am, me and my husband is big on food aesthetic. Like when we eat our food, we want to experience. Our food is in certain type of dishware because we want food experience. We want when we eat at home to feel like we at a five-star restaurant. So I've always been gravitated towards nice dinnerware so when i saw these i was like i have to have them i initially left them behind because i was like i don't need any more glassware dinnerware but i couldn't I, I couldn't before we even got up the road good i was like chip go back and get those plates and they was only 125 so if you can see they do have some speckling in it and at first i was like maybe there's just some paint drippage from the manufacturer no that is the designing it's coming off like a stone it's just really, really pretty. And I know the camera not doing it any justice, but I really do enjoy this. I can just see me doing a really cute Instagram picture using this plate as the focal point and then the food of how I would, you know, shoot it. I tend to be a little bit of a photographer when I do my pictures on Instagram. I'm still working on it. Uh, but yeah, I just had to have these. And it's by the brand Our Table. It sounds familiar, but it doesn't. Our, our table, dishwasher, and microwave safe. But I just love the low profile, especially for like lunch meals, you know, something small. You don't want to consume any heavy meals, just something small, and you have something really aesthetic and pleasing to eat out of. So I got that. Next from Dollar Tree, I got some goodies right here. So I did get lucky. My girl Mari at Oh Hey Mari on Instagram. I'll make sure I leave all these um, accounts across the screen so you guys can go follow them or check them out for yourself. Um, but I do like to give respect where respect is due for is who, who I got inspired from or who posted what. I just, you know, I, I'm big on that, you guys. Um, she shared this on her story. So this is a caboodle dupe. Dollar Tree have had these before, but they was all in one solid color. This has like a glitter clear lid up top, and it did come in pink, purple, and a turquoise blue. I've seen the pink one before, the solid pink one, and I think I did buy them for Christmas gifts a couple years back. But when I saw this and with the clear top, I was like, 
I need to get this to house all my nail care kit items. Um, I do typically do my pedicures after a week of getting my pedicure done from the salon just to, you know, maintain them. And I just thought that this would be, you know, nice to hold like my grater, my my snipper, all my, my nail care um, items in a cute way. And it just keep me motivated to keep, you know, doing what I'm doing, my home self care routine or, what, or whatever. You could use this for whatever. You can put your little girl barrettes in here. Uh, you can do a lot of things. Wh whatever you want to house in here, you can put in here. Um, so yeah, for one twenty-five, it's not really the best because I'm keep having to pop unless that's just me or I just got a bad one. But I'm keep having to pop the lid back down and like you keep adjusting. But for one twenty-five, who gonna cry about that? So yeah, I think this will is a good buy. And lastly, from Dollar Tree. I talked about this on my Instagram. Y'all, I found some Betsy Johnson books in Dollar Tree. Can y'all believe this? I found some Betsy Johnson books in Dollar Tree. And when I first saw it, I was like, because I think I saw the spine. And you know, that um, font is infamous. Um, and I was like, oh, and I was worried that it was going to be part of that five- dollar thing but no one rang it was 125 so yeah i initially found just one and then my husband was in dollar tree another day and i told him to look for another one and he did so now i have two one is gonna be for me and one is gonna be something that i got up my sleeve really really soon so if you could go find this um i say go for it you know it would make a nice decor piece that i said um in my instagram story y'all know this is my color i'm mainly going to use it for decor but i think i'm gonna read it you know those days i want to sit back in the babe cave and you know drink some coffee i think i'm gonna read it but these colors right here is my signature color and i just think it'd be nice decor in my room it doesn't have any pictures let me put this back on here it's not an illustrated book so you won't be able to like open it up and use it for decor that way um i just saw something but i don't know no it's not an illustrated well it does have a couple pieces but they're all in like black and white not very exciting to look at but far as the spine goes i think that'd be really really nice so that's all that i picked up from dollar tree next um this is just one item from big lots that my husband picked up for me, and I am getting ready to return these as soon as he leave out today and go run an errand. So he came across this really cute um, artwork from Big Lots. I didn't even know Big Lots was selling stuff like this. So it's a Chanel-inspired um, artwork. Um, it has a chrome frame, cute little butterflies, silver metallic um, verbiage, and all that good stuff. It's really, really cute. It was $9.99. Um, it's cute, but it just really don't flow with my aesthetics in the bag, okay? That's why I am going to return it. I can use that money towards something else. Oh, goodness, I think I lost the receipt. Chip, the receipt is not in the bag. So, I'm going to have to look for that. So, I'm going to return that because it just don't flow with my, what I got going on in my room. Even though I do have, like, you know, designer uh, pieces in there that butterfly and it just even though i love butterfly butterfly was the um main thing in my wedding um 15 years ago but i just don't want that in my room even though butterflies are beautiful and high in spirit and vibration i just i just don't like it i'm not doing that this year i am not doing things just because everything's going to be intentional and um with purpose and um, high vibration. So, yeah. And lastly, this haul, you guys, because I don't want to hold you too much longer. I know it's Sunday. I know y'all got something smelling really good on the stove. What it is, mac and cheese, collard green, cabbage and cornbread, pinto beans, potato salad chilling in the fridge. What is it? I don't have nothing cooking. Ain't nothing smelling here with this coffee. <laughs> Ain't not cooking. We probably pick up something to eat. I don't know. Your girl just got to get her mojo back. But enough of that. Y'all know a hole is not a hole without Bath and Body Works.
I don't even remember what is out in here. Oh, y'all, not a lot. I'm gonna have to bend down, so if I'm too far off in the camera, just tell me to back up. Okay, first thing first, I need to, hold on, y'all. I got too much going on. Let me use this stool. That's right, Sean. Use your brain. Use your brain. Okay, first thing first. This was a minute ago because this was 2.24. This is how long I've been holding on this stuff. First thing first. I needed a black pocket bag holder. I have the cute one with the... It's like a little flappy thingy. If the girls um, know, they know. Especially like the bad girls. Um, all black kind of quilted, I believe. Had a little charm on it. I believe a pink flower. I needed something simple. Chic. Just not a lot going on because y'all know I love putting themes to my bag. So, I got this um, for $1.95. But it was the sanitizer right here that's inside. And I'm going to share what it looks like that I'm about to rave about. So, I picked up two of the San... I cannot never pronounce it. And I have... Um, Spin this um, background, and I just cannot pronounce it. I don't know what it is. I just cannot get certain words off my tongue. I've tried. My family have laughed at me about it, but I just cannot. And it makes me look illiterate, but I promise you, I am highly educated. I have several college degrees and certifications and licenses. I, I can <laughs> But I cannot pronounce it. Um... Paulo Santos is sad. I'm just going to show it to you guys. I hope y'all can see this. Y'all, when I tell you, oh, y'all, so, so good. Now, I've told y'all before, when it comes to certain scents in my front area of my home, I love those warm. Whew, I just, every time I think about it, I just, mm, it just does something to me. That's what this smells like. This is, this is, it has that, um, Cento in it and sage, and it smells so delightful. Like, it just smells like money, and we want to smell like money, look like money. Y'all, it smells so stinking good. If you love those warm scents, go get you a hand sanitizer. Go get you this pa Palo Santos and sage. So, so good, and I hate I missed the dollar sale. I would have wrecked them. I didn't know nothing about this. Chip found it for me. And I was like, and found out that it's the number one hand sanitizer right now in Allure magazine. So it must be pretty, pretty good. So I got two sanitizer and a sanitizer holder. Guess what this is? Nope, you're wrong. Guess what this is? No, I'm just playing with y'all. Y'all know it's a candle. <laughs> so, I had sent Chip on the hunt for new candles for, you know, the spring, but I still wanted that warm note to it. So, I got him to get me the bergamot and birch. Y'all know it's the packaging for me. Y'all know I'm feeling this green right now, but this is not the actual green that I have in my home. Uh, but I just wanted something close to it. I'm not really a fan of the packaging. However, it's still cute and elegant. More so given like vintage and um, antique vibes or whatever. But uh, yeah, I mainly got it for the packaging and the scent. Of course, when I read the notes online, I knew it would be something that I'm willing to try. Um, so it says it has vibrant bergamot, black amber, birch wood in it. And you guys, when I took the first sniff of it, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> I know I'm being dramatic, but this smells so good. So it gives off a like a subtle, sweet, but still warm note. Like in between, like like a hot summer day at night when you are burning a fire. That's what it. Okay, a hot summer night next to a campfire. That's what it smells like. 
Because I could smell the warmness. It, did it say it has wood? Birch wood, yeah. A hot summer night next to a, 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 a campfire. But it still has this light scent to it, but you could, yeah, it smells so good. So go out there and smell it for yourself. Don't take my word on it. If you choose not to, I don't want to influence nobody to buy candles and say, oh, Sean said it smells good, but I'm going to go out and smell it yourself and just do your own homework. But I promise you, I'm not going to tell y'all nothing wrong. So I did get another one, and I believe that would be it. So I did pick up this one. It's the, another pal Palto Santo. It was the packaging for me. And I normally do not gravitate towards stuff like that because it looked too kind of like boho, whatever. But this was really, really pretty. And if I'm not um, for certain, I think an African-American, she designed the packaging. I don't know. I, I may could be wrong, but I was looking at something on my email pertaining to the nude packaging. And I believe so or whatever. Um, but it's inspired of ambience of clarity and strength. Um, so the notes in this is pal, pal, P A L O, pal, palo, cento, wood, warm amber, soft musk. I don't know why I cannot pronounce that word. I just, I don't know. But yeah, another good one. Another good one. Mm, I have to brace myself. Oh, it puts me definitely in the mind of the last candles that I haul that I shared with you guys from Marshall, the, the tray, the one I told y'all, go find. I don't care what you do, go find that brand. My girl, Andrea from San Andrea um, here on YouTube, she put us on on that. I did not know they even existed. That brand hit. When I tell you it hit, and all these Cento scented candles all smell similar. Some are a little bit more stronger depending on the brand. But they all pretty much smell the same and they be hidden. And this one does too. Oh my goodness. It just smells like a luxury hotel. Who won't want their home to smell like a luxury hotel? Oh my goodness, it smells so good. So I think this would be really, really cute for the aesthetics of my guest bathroom. That's mainly why I got it because it has these you know, dark, moody colors. They have a little bit of, you know, tan right here, some gray. I just thought it would be really, really pretty for my aesthetics in the guest bathroom with everything I got going on. And I'll probably just turn around like that so you can see mainly the packaging. But yeah, got two of these. I believe these were $13.95. And that day, they had a 10 off of 30 coupon. So, two condos. Let me see. Two candles, two sanitizers, and a pocket bag holder. Because you know we like to save points, baby. The candles were on sale for $13.95. And the pocket bag holder, of course, $1.95. The sanitizer, $1.95. $21.80. That's less than one candle. So I got a candle free and the hand sanitizer and the holder all for free. Yeah, I don't shop full price if I can't help it. That keeps me in these streets, baby. So, yes, just looking around, just making sure I haven't forgot anything. That is all, you guys. So I hope you truly have enjoyed this haul. I hope you enjoyed this update. I hope you enjoyed just a little bit of chit-chat. I know it's probably a little different. I normally do not try to do a lot of chit chat but when I got some updates and stuff for you guys, I like to keep you guys in the know because I know a lot of you did come from my pink aesthetics, but then I have you girls that's coming for my home decor aesthetics. So we're just going to combine it all up and mix it all up, add a little flat here and here there, and we're going to create something beautiful. So I hope you guys stick around. If this is something that you are into, make sure you consider subscribing at the end of this video if you have not already done so. Like I've said before, I really, really will love to have you guys a part of my sun squad sunshine squad y'all continue to have a great and amazing sunday and i'll 
Catch y'all on my next one. Bye.